how to survive high school for your three or four years of high school, depending when you actually start. For me, I started high school when I was in grade 10, but I'm pretty sure in the US or other parts of the world, high school starts in grade 9. Correct me if I'm wrong, so let's go. The first tip is try not to get lost on your first day because that's gonna be really embarrassing if you get lost on your first day. So, and number two, the second tip is don't be late to your classes. Number three is try to be involved in your school activities like your pep rallies and stuff like that. Number four would be to study. Number five is to make sure you do your homework before you do anything else. Number six is do your best in class because obviously you want to do your best and pass the grade you're going into so you can get into a good college in the future. Don't know if they're going to... This tip also... Um, this tip applies for when you're in high school because they're going... If you want to like want to do early application to colleges in the future, they're most likely going to look for your grade 11 grades. If you're doing normal decisions, you will have to have good grades in your grade 12 years. So, yeah, let's go. Let's move on to the seventh tip. The seventh tip is communicate with your teachers because they can help you if you're stuck on something. Number eight would be communicate with your classmates. Because you want to make friends in, in your high school years. Number nine would be turn in your assignments on time. And for some reason I wrote in time, but it's supposed to be on time. So yeah, turn in your assignments on time. Because if you had something late, your teacher would like duck like five percent off your duck like five percent off your mark your original mark so head them in on time number 10 is to be prepared number 11 is be organized number 12 is ask for help when you need it number 13 applies to people who have a spear period study during your spear period so if you have enough credits from grade 10 grade 10 from your grade 10 year or your grade 9 year depending on when your school does credits you'll, you'll end up having a spear period during your 11th grade year I it's really depending on how you choose your classes if you're going to end up getting a spare or not so yeah number 14 is to stay focused number 15 is color coat your notes because if so like put you put you write a, your, your not definition um, you'll just write the vocabulary word in one color so you know that color is vocab then use one color for your headings so yeah that's what I mean by color color your notes number sixteen is use a planner the reason you need to use a planner because you want to write in your homework dates and your assignments so you can remember to hand them in on time and so you can remember to study for your tests. Number 17 is participate in your classes. This is crucial to if you want to get good grades and stuff. Number 18 is need a texture instrument calculator and the a texture instrument calculator is a calculator obviously that can graph and do some other things you need that for all throughout high school because you need it for math class you need it for chemistry class and I need and you're gonna definitely you're gonna definitely need a calculator in math and chemistry because you don't want to like like you don't want to like figure out the math part of chemistry alone you need a calculator to do that and it's crucial for math because you have to graph things and do quadratic functions and stuff. So, um, yeah. Number 19 is don't get involved in fights or drama. And I'm not meaning the option drama. So, yeah. And by, I meant school drama. 
by that. Number 20 is don't cram. I find that if you try to do that, it is The reason I had cram for my grade 11 school year is because my, sis my high school system was quartered. So I literally had to cram like five months worth of things into like two and a half months, which is not easy and it's hard. So don't cram at all. Number 21 is don't be a bully because if you are mean, you won't have friends. Number 22 is to ignore the bony bullies. If that doesn't help, you will um, have to tell a teacher or a trusted adult. So let's move on to the 23rd one. Number 23 was choose your friends wisely. And the reason I say this because if you don't choose your friends wisely, you're going to end up in a situation where you have toxic friends, where you have some friends who's gonna end up dropping you. So choose your friends wisely so you don't have a toxic friend situation to deal with in the middle of the school year. Number 24 is ask for direction if you end up getting lost. I had to do this in my grade 10 year of high school because I got lost. And directions from a person who's been in the school longer than you can really help. Number 25, do not cheat on exams. I know when people are online, they cheat it a lot, but if you're in, in person school, you can't cheat. So don't cheat on them, just study for them. Number 26, use SparkNotes. If you don't know what SparkNotes is, it's just a website that translates Shakespearean work into modern day English. Like, Shakespeare works like Twelfth Night, A Midsummer Night's Dream. I don't know if Macbeth is Shakespearean, but SparkNotes has Macbeth. So yeah. So yeah, use spark notes if you spark notes in English class to help you figure out the Shakespearean part of it if you're in the unit Shakespeare. So yeah. Number 27 is ask for help when you need it because people are willing to help you. Number 28. If you have an early lunch hour like 10:55 a.m., which was my lunch hour for the second half of the school year, bring a snack with you. Or have a snack after school because you're good if you have really early lunch hour you're most likely gonna end up being super hungry after school so yeah i really hope i think my lunch hour is just gonna be back to where it originally was before before so yeah but my lunch hour changed in like november of 2020 like to be 10 55 so yeah and now i think my lunch hour is just going back to my normal lunch hour where for my last year of high school anyways number 29 if you have summer assignments do them because you don't want to get a text from your friend to say hey have you done your summer assignments you kind of need them if your school gives them this also applies to summer school, so yeah. Number 30, the last one is be responsible with your schoolwork, meaning handing things on time and doing your assignments without cheating. So um, yeah, and that's all my tips how to survive high school. So yeah, see you all in my next video. Bye and peace out.